What's going on guys? I'm Fardkid and today I'm bringing you some Halo 4 gameplay commentary. Uh, today we are looking at Extraction which is currently on the rotational playlist. I do got, I think it's 16 and 0 so it is perfection but in Extraction so it doesn't count because we all know that you can only get perfections in teams like But yeah, what, what I'm about to talk to you guys today about is what can 343 Halo learn from Titanfall? Now, as for you, for those of you who have Titanfall, you know that it is a blockbuster of a game, and um, it has many good points. Um, but it, for me, it was quite hard to get points that would make Halo better um, without ruining the, you know, the nostalgia, the the um, the points that make Halo like a Halo game. So, for example, I could just say, "I'll oh, put Titans in the game." Because that'll make it everything better. No, because in Halo you don't have Titans. Y you know what I mean? Perhaps change the Mantises for a Titan. Y you could do that. In fact, that's quite a good point because the Mantis is overpowered. And the Titans are quite evenly balanced, if I do say so. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, so you can't obviously do like loadouts and stuff because Halo has its has its features, you know, you can't really change some stuff like that. But the things I have got from Titanfall. Now I've obviously played Titanfall a lot and um I'm putting it on my channel. Comment uh, comment below if you actually want to see Titanfall because I've recorded loads of them and I really want to share it with you. Anyway, Titanfall, what does Titanfall have? Flag returns. <laughs> Was it so difficult in Halo of War to put flag returns in? I'm sorry, like in Titanfall the flag returns aren't actually um timed. They're not timed flag returns, they're like, um, as I assassinate the uh, Enemy dude. Um, yeah, they're not timed flag returns, so you don't stand there for three seconds. It, you just run over it and it returns. Now, even that, I'd be happy with in Halo 4. But obviously, um, in Halo, future Halo games, returns, three seconds, stand on the flag, you get me. Um, next up, switching sides and capture the flag. Now, this is actually strangely good. Like, for a map, say, look at the map we're playing on right now, Abandon. I think CTF is in, Abandon is in CTF playlist. And what would be brilliant is if you can switch sides to so say, uh, a capture flag match, but correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's 16 minutes? Perhaps 12. Uh, but if it's 16, just make it 8 minutes per side, and then you'd have that, and perhaps make it go to overtime if, um, if someone's holding the flag before it's captured. You know what I mean? Uh, also, uh, the XP system in Titanfall is pretty good. Um, of course, that I would love to see that sort of XP system in Halo. But of course, I'd, I'd more prefer to see competitive skill rank. But we, we, more, we, can, we can compromise, get both in one game. You, I'm just saying, that might be a hint. Also, um, zip lines. Now, zip lines in Titanfall work an absolute treat. Now, I'm not sure if they'd work in Halo because of the the core mechanics of the game. It wouldn't really make it a Halo title if it had zip lines, but something along those lines. I mean, we've got man cannons, but they're not really the same. Um, I suppose zip lines are a bit too current, and Halo's obviously based in the future, so you can't really have that sort of thing. Uh, lastly, I've got on my list is detailed map design. Um, in Titanfall, you may notice that the maps are absolutely fantastic. Um, they're, they're really designed, the, the the designers have obviously gone into a lot of work in getting those right, and um, yeah, they just look very aesthetically pleasing. Whereas in Halo 4, they look a little bit rushed. For example, this map, it looks nice, but you know, what can you do as Imzelis snipes in at the end of the day? Um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I went 16 and 0, if you were counting, I wasn't. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, when you comment and like, it really helps this channel grow because I know what you want, what you like, what you dislike. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.